Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, Barakata. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth, giving all of us Akim across the four corners of the globe the proper breakdowns of these scriptures all through the Rakah Kodash. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion and face brothers, whose bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, or so-called Native American, although you may look like one of the other 17 uh, nation, heathen nations, all right? Now, uh, with that, uh, I wanted the spirits been on me to do this video uh, for the last couple of days. I'm finally being able to uh, put it out and because I was meditating on how there's so many, uh, an influx of so many uh, camps out here, all right? Uh, and not just the camp which I belong to, which I'm in a uh, great millstone. I come under the tutelage of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. My name is Karataza, and I'm from the Detroit camp of Great Millstone. But you also have other camps out here, all right, that are out here under the tutelage of the apostles and elders of GMS, and those also that are just teaching the correct doctrine, okay. Uh, and there's an influx because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, uh, said it would be, okay? He said that he would uh, wake uh, up his the elect men that he gave Yahweh Shai, his son, whom the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ, all right? So with that, no further ado, we're going to get our first scripture. This is uh, Baruch uh, chapter 2 in the Apocrypha. And uh, we're going to start at verse uh, 29, and it reads, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall turn into a small number among the nations, whither I will scatter them. So, Khan, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are numbered among the sands of the sea, which you cannot be actually numbered or counted because you're like, the stars uh, in the heaven, in the uh, sands of the sea, it says, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, right? So everywhere that the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Native American has been scattered, you are a minority there, all right? Thus, meaning the minorities, because they love to say that the so-called Negro, who are the Judites, uh, over here in modern day Babylon, which is America, are minorities, all right? And we're going to get a precept uh, to show that that would happen, all right? This is going to be the book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 28, and uh, verses 62. And what does it read? Con, let me uh, highlight this. I don't have it highlighted on my laptop slash tablet. Uh, I'm going to use this one just to change it up. Con, and it reads, and ye shall be left few in number. Who is that? The uh, Israelites, all right? Whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, thy power. So come, those is the Israelites, the so-called Negro, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because you wouldn't obey the voice of the Heavenly Father. Uh, you are going to be uh, scattered amongst the nations and be a very small number amongst those nations, all right? Uh, so going back into the book of um, Baruch, chapter uh, 2, uh, kind of we left off in verse 29. Now we're going to go on to uh, 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Yeah, Khan, the entire nation of Israel, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans are stiff-necked, hard-headed people. That's why we had to go through so many captivities, this being our seventh and final captivity, because we were hard-headed, man. We were stiff-necked. 
we didn't want to hearken on to the voice of our power, all right? Uh, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, continuing on in verse 31 of Baruch chapter 2. And she'll know. Well, Salake, going back into the verse 30, that latter end of that verse, it says, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, Khan. And the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Native American, wherever you at, on the face of this earth, you're in captivity because we're still in uh, slavery, all right, to this uh, very day. Uh, matter of fact, let's grab that real quick. Precept must be upon precept, line upon line. Here a little, there a little, and I believe it's, uh, nope, it's not in Ezekiel what I want. Uh, it's in the book of uh, Jeremiah, uh, chapter 50, and verse 33, I believe. Kind. And it, yep. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai of hosts, which is armies, because the Heavenly Father is uh, the Lord of the army of angels that he has. All right. The children of Israel and the children of Judah, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, were oppressed together. Kind. And all that took them kept this hell from fast, they refused to let them go. So kind, just like we, the so-called Negroes and the so-called Latinos, were uh, held in captive back in Egypt, it's still to this day we're being held captive over here in uh, modern-day Babylon, which is America and the other places around the uh, four corners of the earth. All right. So uh, going back into uh, Baruch, chapter two. Uh, yeah, in uh, verse thirty. It says, uh, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Now going into uh, verse 31, it reads, and shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, their power, for I give them an heart and ears to hear. Kind. That heart is a mind, man. The elect, he's going to give the elect a, a, a mind to and ears to hear, okay? So with that, I want to get uh, a couple precepts real quick. And the first precept we're going to get, we're going to go to the book of um, St. John, chapter 6. St. John, chapter 6, and uh, verse 39. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to highlight this too. Uh, Khan. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking, all right? whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And, th and this is the Father's will, which have sent me, all right? This is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's will, for Yahweh Shai, his son, that of all which he hath given me, which is, he, what did he give him? He gave Yahweh Shai the elect to help him uh, complete the blueprint that Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, gave his son, Yahweh Shai. I should lose nothing, kind. So Yahweh Shai is not going to lose one of the elect, but should raise it up again at the last day, right? Raising up the uh, and building up the tabernacle of David, which is the 144,000 elect men, all right? It's not a physical building. It's a building of men remembering themselves, all right? So going uh, back into Baruch chapter uh, 2, uh, in verse 31, we're going to get another precept uh, because it reads, And shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, their power, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. Okay, so kind of with that, we're going to get, uh, the, we're going to go into the book of Acts. Uh, kind, of, this is the book of Acts, chapter uh, 4, and verse 12. Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Come on, let me uh, highlight this. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So, come on. Uh, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and we... Uh, we pray to him in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, all right? 
because salvation is only going to come from the heavenly father and like it uh, reads back in uh Salakia, uh baruch chapter uh two and verse 31 uh, uh and shall know that i am the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shy their power right the heavenly father is our power he is our salvation all right and there's no other name under uh, heaven which we're going to be saved okay continuing on in uh verse 32 and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name so Khan, who is doing that right now those who are calling on the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, in all truthfulness and sincerity, those are the ones who think upon the name. We think upon the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, in the name of his son Yahweh Shai, all right? Constantly, we meditate upon that name all day, every day, all right? Uh, and I'm going to get a, a precept to that. And this is going to be the book of Isaiah, real quick. Uh, chapter 55 and verse 7. And it reads, uh, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Kind. So the 144,000 elect, they they not perfect. Shoot, they were wicked. You, Lord willing, I'm one of those men. We were being wicked. We were being unrighteous, all right? We had wicked ways, and uh, we had unrighteous thoughts, all right? Which I can uh, testify that I did, all right? And it reads, and let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him. So kind, even though the 144,000 uh, elect uh, were wicked men and were doing unrighteous things they were they are going to return unto uh the lord yahweh their power all right for he will abundantly pardon kind the uh, 144,000 uh elect men of the nation of israel uh 12,000 out of each tribe of the so-called negro and latinos are going to uh repent and turn around and they're going to be pardoned for all of their uh, wickedness, all right? Kind of going back into uh, Baruch chapter uh, 2 and verse 7. And I believe, kind of, we, we uh, left off on, uh, now we're going into uh, verse 33. And return from their stiff neck, hard headedness, and from their wicked deeds, kind of, uh, committing adultery, uh, eating abominable foods, smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Uh, continuing on in verse 34, and I will bring them again into the land, which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them and they shall not be de de diminished, all right? Verse 34, again, it says, And I will bring them again into the land which I promised them with an oath unto their fathers. Kind. Not they're going to take it uh, by uh, the Balfour Declaration, all right, of 1948. Hell no. Nah. It says, I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. So, kind, it ain't going to be no uh, fucking pink city over there. You think uh, the Heavenly Father is increasing uh, pink city? All right, kosher pig? Hell, fuck not. Uh, verse 35, And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. Hmm, that sounds possessive to me. That doesn't sound all inclusive, all right? And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Hmm, that sounds possessive. Yeah, the Heavenly Father is talking about the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American man, all right? As well as the confusion of faces. 
nobody, none of the other heathen nations are going to enjoy the land. It's straight up slavery for y'all, all right? So with that, I'm going to get uh, my last uh, precept. The book of, We're going to go into the book of Jeremiah because uh, it's a scripture that these two scriptures mirror each other. And this is going to be the book of Jeremiah chapter 32. Uh, we're going to start at verse 37 and read to 42, all right? And this mirrors that Baruch chapter 2 that I just read, all right? So, man, I want to highlight this, all right? I can, so bear with me. Kind. And I'm going to just read through this, all right? And it reads, this is Jeremiah chapter 32, starting at verse 37. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whither I have driven them in mine anger and in my fury and in great wrath. And I will bring them again unto this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. Yeah, so if those uh, rats over there in the land of Israel were the true uh, Jews, where the other uh, 12 tribes are at, okay? Because Jew only means someone from the uh, tribe of Judah, Yahweh, Yahweh's praise, all right? Uh, and it says, I will gather them out of all countries. So, kind, we're scattered. We're going to come looking. There's are actually going to be some people that look like those Karzarians, all right? Those Khazars over there. Those Amalekites, all right? Because we were scattered amongst all the nations. Uh, verse 38 and they shall be my people and I will be their power that sounds very possessive to me that don't sound all inclusive all right verse 39 and I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them so come it's the law statutes and commandments that were only given in to the nation of Israel the so-called Negroes the so-called Latinos and the so-called Native Americans where our, it, it, the law, statutes, commandments are going to be written uh, uh, in our hearts and in our minds, all right? Uh, verse 40, And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, that I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts, that they shall not depart from me. Kind of, we're not going to ever go off again. Uh Verse 41, yeah, I will rejoice over them to do good, and I will plant them in this land shortly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashan Shai, like as I have brought all this great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. Kind of starting with the uh, 144,000 uh and one third men, women, and children, and then, then the rest of the two thirds who are not going to make it on the first go around are going to come back through the seeds of the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American. So, kind of, hopefully, this video was uh, edifying for those of you who uh, may come across it. Uh, so, once again, I want to say, Kol Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Hadash, Barakatham, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of uh, Great Millstone, who grew well, who taught me this truth, and who labor in this word. And I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. With that, I want to say a ball, a ball, and shalom.